Hello everyone, and welcome to this board game unboxing for King's Forge. This is a crafting dice game, not uh, you craft dice like in Dice Forge. This is a game where you roll dice to see pretty much the quality of certain materials and use them for making things. Um, I played this game actually years ago, I think, but recently there was a Kickstarter for the newest expansion and I decided to get it, as well as everything else that I could, because I did enjoy the game, but I had never seen it in stores. Not that I call it. So, it is primarily cards and dice, as you can see from the back of the box. And it is just a lot of, hey, roll dice to get things, or go on quest kind of things to do more stuff. So, there's the box to hold. First, we've got the rule book. Ooh, there's some newer stuff in here, I think. Oh, no, I, I did not remember the board before. Uh, there is a four-piece board. You lay out cards and stuff on it. Ooh, this is definitely not the same board I played with. I think this was just the board to begin with. I played this a long time ago. I think shortly after the first Kickstarter for it, which was when I became aware of it. Then we have some punch out things, be it, you know, these are your character cards kind of thing, like they are your forge. You use that to store things on. And then these are some standard cards that come into play uh, in terms of basic actions. Then we have a deck of cards, because like I said, this is mostly cards and dice. Six-sided dice, to my knowledge, in every case. So it's a bunch of multicolored, six-sided dice. And then each color represents a different material, usually. Uh, and then a lot of the expansions added not only more cards and more of these things to go on, which are basically the quests or locations, I think. These appear to be the locations. I might have played with one of the expansions to begin with, but the cards are all numbered and they all fit in pretty well with other expansions they kind of took. Oh, here's the Avengers. So yeah, these are the basic location. But like, for example, an anvil, a trumpet. See how it says, uh, has two um, threes from that are black? That means you need three or higher quality and then you need whatever material black is, I'm guessing iron or something better that can be used in its place, but like, shield, horseshoes, and then necklaces using red dice, or dice of deceit, green and blue. Uh, again, each color representing a different material. Game of Ingenuity uses black, green, red, and blue, which is pretty much all there is in the core game. There's also a clear die from what I can see, which I believe is intended to be used as a wild. The Sword of Destiny! Six across the board, one of each color. And then you have different quests I think you can go on or kind of things. They turn into things that everybody can do for the most part, and then they kind of wipe. So they're all different stuff like alchemist, uh, astrologer, uh, the bazaar, a caravan, cemetery, dragon layer, so on and so forth. Oh good, they're alphabetized. Here we are. The colors are Metal for black, green for wood, red for gems, blue for magic, white for library, and purple for cemetery. Uh, and then a uh, basic on the other side of that, two copies of the same card, uh, are a basic uh, thing of like what you can do. And then we have dice, lots and lots of dice. I'm just gonna so lots of black representing metal. I'm gonna keep them in the bags for the time being. Red's representing gems, I believe it was. Green representing wood. Although it's on my camera, it looks like another, uh, uh, like a gray, but it's definitely green. Blue, which are slightly translucent, so were the reds for magic. And then, oh, that's what it was. It's two whitish dyes. They're more gray, cloudy, and one purple, clearish. Um, and then it also comes with a bunch of empty bags to sort this stuff better. Yay, sorting! Um, that's not sarcastic. Seriously, I, I like being able to keep games sorted and organized because otherwise they're a nightmare. Uh, regardless, that appears to be everything. I do have most of the expansions and they will be in their own unboxing videos, although some might be mixed together. Regardless, that's everything with the core game. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, feel free to press the like button. If you think somebody else will enjoy this, 
feel free to share this video. If you didn't like it, go ahead and press the dislike button. I won't mind, but please leave a constructive comment as to why. Also, feel free to comment in general. If you want to see an overview of this game, that would be where you ask. Pretty much it would just be covering the cards for the most part, because dice are dice. They're normal oh, 1 through 66s for the most part. I think all of them are, except for the color, and then their importance really comes down to here. And if you want to see more like this, be it more unboxing videos, my board game overview videos, or my reviews, feel free to subscribe. Regardless, thank you for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.